whoever who has passed it. Um, you know, like when you are speaking about how you have to look next to, like you have to look at the person next to you. Our, I was listening to this other song. I don't know if you guys know it, and I really can't say. But <laughs> but it's something like, Amaina Baba. such an amazing presentation and I'm very tempted to give him the honor temporarily for this evening as a professor <laughs> he shines way above me in terms of lecturing so that's <laughs> amazing things about his presentation, how he thinks, uh, it is very political, but it's based on a very 
very fundamental ethical principle, which I think is really, really important. The question of human dignity beyond whatever political party that you might support. Uh, the question of the need for histories in Zimbabwe which have been marginalized to be recollected and restored to living memory. The stories of so many people in Zimbabwe, both urban and rural areas, stories are not being told and whose voices are not being heard. So that fundamental ethical principle, I think, is, is a really a strong foundation for a, a progressive form of politics as well. <coughs> and so uh, just to thank, uh, again, the, the Zim United volunteers for yourselves for coming this evening and for your uh, important discussion thereafter. To thank also the team with Pastor E this evening. And then finally, once again, to, to, to thank uh, Pastor and Professor E, uh, his choice. And uh, just to mention that uh, with the Heroes Day next Monday, uh, there is a possibility of something being organized for next week. So I've been asked just to give the Facebook, Twitter, and hashtag accounts for it to keep you uh, informed. Zip, this is Facebook, which I don't do. <laughs> Zim, Unite, Zim Unlimited Society of Rhodes University. Twitter, which I do not do. Are you Zim Unlimited? And hashtag, as mentioned previously, this flag and this flag student. So, Thank you once again, Pastor E, and for the team, and for everyone here this evening. Thank you. As is tradition with our generation, um, most of you would like to take pictures, so... Energy was amazing. I think, together with, you know, with bits, this place has possibly been yeah, the most electric atmosphere ever. Still in Bosch was a bit low key, obviously a smaller university, smaller numbers of Zimbabweans as well there, but the match was, was amazing. And it's very nice to see young people get involved in essentially their futures. So yeah. Any encouraging words for the people out there to you know, continue? Um, keep supporting this flag and uh, this flag is about you, it's not about an individual, it's about keeping the values that keep us close together and pushing those values forward. Eh? To see young people come out uh, at, on, on Rhodes campus and really, you know, put their voice out there and support Pastor E and support the movement that speaks for us. You know, the most important thing in Zim, I think, for us as young people is to speak. Yeah. You know, we, we can no longer abdicate the responsibility of our nation to others. Yeah. Because the nation's ours, you know. Um, yeah. And I think right now what we're trying to do is meet as many Zimbabweans as possible. Okay. You know, so even like in Cape Town, the, um, you know, in Joburg, it's been a mixture of meeting university students because this is, these are the bright minds that are going to shape the future of Zimbabwe. Okay. Us. So, so where are you guys off to next? And, uh, Joburg. Know, where, okay. I think firstly, where, were you guys, where have you guys gone so far? And where are you guys going after this stop? We've done VITS, yeah. um, University of Cape Town, yeah. uh, Stellenbosch, yeah. and uh, now we've come here. Okay. And then next we're going to Joburg. So we're, we're actually going to regroup for about a couple of days and then put another itinerary, which we'll announce next week. Okay. Yeah. But we're looking at going to obviously Kwasu Natal, Fort Air, um, a few of the other universities in Joburg. Okay. Yeah. To meet as many, because a lot of our young people are here. So okay. I think it's important. Pastor E is very passionate about just, as youth. someone who is a youth pastor for many years. Mm. He's extremely passionate about young people and it's, us as the future of the country. Yeah.